want to talk about an evil thing. The churches that have money do. What do I mean about churches that have money? I'm talking about churches that have the ability to take care of musicians. But choose to not do so. Okay? As to how we can determine if a church has those uh, abilities is a story for another day. Because as long as we're not in the church's uh, finance box, we will never know for sure. However, if you notice a trend of people spending money on useless things, unnecessary things, then you'll know that there's money. Hey, we have a carpet. It looks good, but hey, we need a new look, so we're just going to yank it out and throw it away. You know what I'm saying? But... Um, reckless spending of God's money. That's a story for another day. Okay. There are churches that have the ability to take proper care of musicians. But what do they do? They decide, no, uh, we want to test your loyalty. We want to see uh, if you'll stick around if we don't pay you. That is evil. Because while you're testing someone, they're probably starving. They probably um, are struggling to pay their rent or their fees or to get proper clothes, you know, essentials. You want to test them. The only person who has the right to test other people in that manner is God, not humans. Because when God tests people in that manner, he has some kind of provision or some way for them to get through it. You're not God, so you don't get to do that. Don't do it, it's evil. It's very evil. Okay? Don't do it. If you have the means to take care of musicians, do it. Don't try and like uh, uh, test people and see where their loyalties lie. A lot of people who come up with these kind of ideas, it's usually not the past. It's usually like the board. You know, it breaks my heart because a lot of relationships between pastors have been broken. Pastors and musicians, whereas the pastors had the right heart but were overruled by the board okay those people in that board a lot of them have jobs yeah they've got jobs and because they have jobs um they get paid at those jobs and they wake up because they get paid if those jobs if those if their bosses decide a hey, we're not going to pay you anymore. Okay? We want to see where your loyalties lie. Those guys are going to go looking for new jobs. Why? Because they have things to pay for. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. Bills need to be paid. Cars. Uh, kids' school fees. Understand? So nobody has time for an employer that wants to play silly games of testing people's loyalty. That is evil. Now, that same evil is being done in the house of God. Those same people expect musicians to stay and, you know, survive the test. Will not survive the test in their own jobs. So why expect it from musicians? That is evil. So, um, please guys, don't practice evil things in the house of God. You know, God has been good to you. Uh, God has been good to the ministry. Don't do evil things like that. I don't think that it pleases God when people do evil things like that. 